Dva tižnji tomu me podali vidpovidi kandidatiju na zapetnik Kongresu Ukrajinci u Kanadi i zrozumile vid vidhukiju što se vam duže spodobilo se. Tomu sjohodnji podajemo vidpovidi dejake kandidatiju, jak jih me šče ne predavali. Da te boš levist kanadskim politikam na hodu zrozumite sprave mežnarodno i politike Kanade zvijazani z mežnarodnim pravom i jak vodno vidnosecja do Ukrajine, Kongres Ukrajinci v Kanade pidotovil zapetnik je kaj me, jak hromadjane Kanade povenji ve koristati v spilkovanjah iz kandidatami v kruh, v jakih me živemo. Me zaprosili kandidati v riznih partij, kjelkoh v kruh zahidnjo Toronto, Štob vone obznajomili nas, hľadačiv, i svojimi pozicijami vidnosno vizkovoji agresiji Rosiji v Ukrajini. Oj, sperše pitanje dla kandidativ. Če ve pitremojete ponjatje sankcij proti sistem energetike i oborone ta finansovih posluh Rosiji, ta veključenje Rosiji iz Mižnarodnoji bankovoji sisteme SWIFT, što v cej sposib sponukati Rusiju vidtjahnuti svoji vizka i zbroju s teritorij Ukrajine. Absolutno, i ja hoću podkresliti dvi reči. Po perše, što ce bolo perše liberalna partija, ja tilki što bola vibrana v parlamenti, ali ce bolo perše liberalna partija, prekinci 2013. roku i s početku 2014. roku, Perše z vsih političnih sil v Kanadi bola liberalna partija, je ka pidnjala pitanja sankcij proti Rosiji. Ja i Ralph Goodell i Mark Garneau i Kevin Lemero proce razmovljali i vystupili z ceju idejo. Ja takož hoču podkresiti, što ja ne oden raz v parlamenti vže zadavala pitanja do kanadijskega urjedu, čemu Ihor Sečin i Vladimir Jakunjen ne je vključeni v kanadijskom spesku sankcij. Inši krajine, v osnovnomu spoločeni štate, maj sankcij proti cih velikih sojuznikih Vladimira Putina. I po tretje, ja hoću skazati, što to bolo poprši z vsih kanadijskih političnih sil, liberalna partija je ka pidnjala petanja pro možljivo vključena Rusija vid sisteme svojega. As you very well know, I am very sympathetic and I will support any measure that would help Ukraine. Now, uh, specifically on the measures that you mentioned, uh, I hope and I will work hard that our government, that it's been had a very strong stand on sanctions against Russia, uh, will work with international partners on the imposition of new sanctions, including um, uh, removal of Russia from SWIFT system, if possible. I mean, this will take more than one country. It's an international system. It's operated by, I understand, an, uh, understand, an, uh, I understand private uh, uh, enterprise. Therefore, it will take our partners and, and support of our partners to do so. But uh, we all together, international community should do whatever possible to stop Russia uh, from its aggression towards Ukraine and bring peace to that great country of Ukraine that they can start building their lives and building their future. I will say that we are in solidarity, the NDP is in solidarity with the Ukraine and Thomas Mulcair has been very clear that he supports sanctions around specific individuals and businesses um, that are impeding uh, Ukraine's ability to prosper economically and in terms of security. The NDP has also been at the forefront of looking at ways in which we can increase transparency around banking and finances in order to help not only the Ukraine but many areas that are suffering from, from uh, lack of transparency in this area. Ось, druhé pytanie. Czy pintremujete nadania Ukrajini smertelnoji oboronnoji zbroji na zahjest vid agresiji Rosiji v schidnjih oblastjah Ukrajine v Luhansku i Donetsku? Ne pintremujemo do pomohu ukrajinskim soldatam i mi pitrimujemo to što Kanada zaraz robi u Ukrajini, 
тобто тренування українських солдат. Я думаю, що це є дуже важливе, і ми виступили з самого початку в підтримку цієї ідеї. Щодо смертельної оборони, я думаю, що дуже важливо про це розмовляти і ставити це питання на порядку денному. Well, first of all, I have to point out that Jason Kenney's recent announcement, uh, amongst many, many things, uh, the digital uh, uh, fund to, to counter the propaganda that uh, Russia is uh, spewing uh, across the globe, as well as the task force that we want to put into place to track Russian money better and to, to understand that, uh, uh, that uh, none of those flows of money are going to counter any of the sanctions uh, that we put in. But, uh, but a third component of that is signing a defense agreement uh, with Ukraine that's going to put it on Canada's uh, automatic uh, firearms distribution list that will enable Ukraine to, uh, to purchase the, uh, the weapons that it's going to need to, in future. Uh, but let me be clear, you know, we have equipped uh, the Ukrainian army with 30,000 sets of uh, uniforms, 70,000 sets of boots, um, 200 sets of night vision goggles, which on June 3rd, uh, were significant in helping the, uh, the Ukrainian army defeat a Russian assault. And of course, uh, the better satellite imagery than anybody has provided, including the Americans, which has also helped uh, the Ukrainian military um, uh, counter, counter battery fight, as well as um, uh, uh, so many other uh, military strategic things that you need satellite imagery for. Uh, the other thing that we have going on in Ukraine right now, which is uh, very, very current, is we have 200 Canadian soldiers in Ukraine, along with our allies, the British and the Americans, training Ukrainian soldiers in fundamental skills. That uh, although the Ukrainian soldiers are absolutely magnificently brave, and, and there are so many examples of heroism on the front, um, they haven't been a, uh, a formed army uh, in, a, in a standard of a Western army for quite some time. And what uh, our contribution will help them do is develop those skills to a NATO standard. So the NDP has been very strong in saying that they believe Luhansk and Donetsk should be on the terrorist um, list. And we've been much stronger than the other parties in, in making such a declaration. In terms of support to the Ukraine, we do believe Canada must play a role in supporting the Ukraine. We believe that that role is best served by providing training and expertise around the military and the police, as well as help in terms of non-lethal weapons, equipment, these kinds of services that Canada can best provide to help the Ukraine. Ось тепер третє питання. Чи ви осуджуєте російську нелегальну анексію Криму? Absolutely, absolutely. On the annexation of Crimea, I think uh, if you very well know that uh, our government has a very strong stand. Our Prime Minister Stephen Harper told Mr. Putin to his face to get out of Crimea, get out of Ukraine. And you know what, this is the issue that uh, uh, surprises me, especially the weakness of some of our international partners. Ukraine had guarantees given 1994, I believe, in the Budapest Memorandum after they gave up nuclear weapons that their uh, territory and their safety will not be compromised. Well, it, uh, one of the main signatories was, of course, Russia, plus United States of America and England. Well, uh, as Prime Minister Harper said, it doesn't matter whether it takes a year, 10 years, or 50 years, we will never recognize the annexation of Crimea. Absolutely, 100% we condemn Russia's illegal occupation of Crimea, and we have labeled the Donetsk People's Republic and the Luhansk People's Republic as terrorist organizations. Putin військово наїхав на Крим і військово мілітарно анексував Крим. Ми такого не виділи такої акції, що зневажені європейські границі ще від 30-х років і Судетенленд. Кожна міжнарод... Кожен міжнародний договір після Другої світової війни був знівечений тою акцією Путіна. Міжнародна правова система перевернута паном Путіном і 
Захід ще не зрозумів і західні провідники не зрозуміли Кремля політичну культуру і Путіна. Путін вживає Лаврова, щоб нібито як дипломата і сміється з того. Як коли західні провідники розмовляють з Путіном, він усміхається. Путін розуміє тільки одне – силу. Тому потрібні санкції. Чи ви підтримуєте названня Республік Луганську і Донецьку як терористичні організації? І тим самим оскаржити Росію за терористичний акт збиття літака MH17? Це дуже важливе питання, тому що сьогодні Дадж Гавермент виявив фінальний рапорт на MH17. І рапорт дуже чітко сказав, що літак був зупинений від сурфер-то-ер місцеві. Book, and uh, you know, uh, Russia has been pointing fingers to Ukraine for shutting down the plane. Well, we know, we all know, that the truth is different. They shut down the plane. This was the terrorist act, and I don't know what the procedure is for declaring uh, uh, Russia as a state. Uh, supporting uh, uh, terrorism or uh, both of these uh, republics as the terrorist organizations. But certainly if such a, a procedure were to be uh, started, I would be supportive because downing down, uh, 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 shutting down uh, the uh, passenger plane with 298 people on board, all of them died, is an act of terrorism. If this is not an act of terrorism, therefore the question is, what is? We do support listing the Luhansk and Donetsk People's Republics as terrorist organizations, uh, and we believe that there should be a full and independent inquiry of the shooting down of that civilian aircraft. I think that absolutely to Luhansk and Donetsk is a very important question to raise. I want to say also that we are now talking about today, the 12th of June. There are now elections in Ukraine on the 25th of June. The political process in Ukraine is moving forward. І я думаю, що нам дуже важливо буде подивитися, який буде результат того політичного процесу в Україні. Ми мусимо завжди розуміти, особливо в ту діаспорі, що ми мусимо робити те, що допомагає Україні і політичним силам в Україні.